Welcome to the video. My name is Pushpinder Gill. This is going to be my email address where you can send me your valuable feedback. So we're doing CAT 2006 paper question number 57. So this was the seventh question uh, for in the quantitative section. And believe me, you could have done all those seven questions within three, four minutes. They were not that difficult, right? So you just have to have a logical approach rather than a mathematical approach. Okay, now what are the values of x and y which satisfy both equations? Now since this is an indices equation, whatever powers of 2 are on the right hand side should be equal to whatever powers what 3 has on the, whatever power 2 has on the right, side, right hand side should be equal to whatever the power 2 has on the left hand side. So the powers should equate. So this is 8 into root 6 by 27. So 8 is nothing but 2 to the power 3. So root 6 is nothing but 2 to the power 1 by 2 into 3 to the power 1 by 2 and 1 by root 27 is nothing but 3 to the power minus 3 by 2. Right? So this is what ho the whole crux of this 8 by root 6 uh, by 27 is. 8 into root 6 by 27. So if you try to add up all the powers, you get 2 to the power 7 by 2 into 3 to the power negative 5 by 2. So this power of 2 is equal to this power of 2, this power of 3 is equal to this power of 3 because these both are the same values, right? So 0 0.7 times x is going to be equal to 7 by 2. That means x is going to be equal to 5 and 3 to the power minus 0, 1.25. That means minus 1.25y is going to be equal to negative 2.5 that means y is going to be equal to 2 right so y is going to be equal to 2 and x is going to be equal to 5 you have your fifth option is the answer however since it should satisfy both the equations you should definitely try to put these values into the the second equation as well. So if you put this into second equation, you'll very well get your answer, definitely, right? So your answer is going to be fifth option, x equal to 5 and y equal to 2. You don't have to go by the options there, though the questions tempt you to go by the options, but don't go by the options because it's going to take you a lot of time to figure out uh, which value is going to satisfy both the equations. One of the values will satisfy one, but won't satisfy the other, right? So this is way the way you should be doing this question. So if you've done GAT 2006, I, I hope you did this question. You didn't miss this question. So thank you very much and keep watching for more videos.